quite rigid. It contains the core of a unicorn hair. Now, I want you to levitate just one of those red wand boxes up above. Now, point your wand at one of them, and when you are ready, give your wand a swish and a flick, and say, Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Roy, that is definitely not your wand. Riparo. But you are doing just fine. And we are getting closer. And Roy, I sense a very powerful magic in you. And I am curious. Now tell me, when is your birthday? July 14th. Hmm. Now, what I have for you here is a wand made of oak, 15 inches rather bendy, and it contains the core of a phoenix tail. Now, I want you to water my flowers in that vase in the corner. Now, point your wand at it, give it away, and say, Aguamente. Aguamente. <laughs> It's just bad with plants. <laughs> you see, Roy, the best results always come when there is the strongest affinity between wizard and wall. Let's give this one a try, shall we? This is a wand made of alder. <laughs> contains the core of a dragon heart string. Clearly, your loyalty will be much admired among your friends. Now, if you don't mind one more time, ah, yes. My assistant here will answer your questions and provide you with your wand options. Oh, and one more thing before you go. Remember, Roy, the wand learns from the wizard and the wizard Learns from the wand. And now, my dear young friend, off we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for selecting Ollivanders this afternoon. And now, we invite you all to rouse the entire wand.